Hi, this is Robert Burke with Pontevedra Plastic Surgery and my nurse, Carol Michael. We're here to talk about uh, endoscopic plastic surgery, specifically about an endoscopic brow lift. And I'm going to use Carol as my model here to kind of show you some of the things that we think about when we're talking about brow lift surgery. When we're examining the face and the eyelids, the very first thing we want to know is where is the brow position? And in a female patient, the ideal position for the brow should be at or slightly above the orbital rim. And if this is low, this can give this a very heavy and hooded appearance. And some patients come in and think they need eyelid surgery, but really what they need is a brow lift surgery. And the old fashioned way we used to lift the brow was to make a big incision across the top of the head peel the scalp down and then pull it back towards the back of the head. Um, that was a pretty tough recovery uh, for, from that procedure. It involved making the top of the head usually somewhat numb after the procedure. And with the advances in endoscopic plastic surgery really is where we started making a much better procedure for brow lifts. And the way we do this now is we make small incisions about a quarter of an inch in size and usually we make five of them up here in the hairline and then we use if this is a kind of a simulation this is a telescope that's connected to a television camera that allows us to go underneath the scalp and basically free up the entire front forehead skin so that we can then advance this skin and bring it up higher towards and get a nice brow lift procedure and the way we do that we actually can kind of control the way we lift the brow some people need more lift laterally some people need more lift centrally and how we position these incisions really allows us a lot of control of the brow lift the other thing that really has been a nice advance with brow lift surgery and I'll kind of we'll focus on this maybe in a little bit this is this little tiny soft tissue anchor and this is dissolvable so it doesn't stay there forever but it allows us after when we lift this brow up we attach this to the skull and this anchor basically helps hold the brow elevated while the scalp is basically healing and reattaching itself to the to the bone initially we tell patients you're gonna you're gonna feel these things but usually between six and nine months they're pretty much dissolved and certainly by a year they're completely dissolved by then so we've got the brow elevated we've got it secured with an anchor usually we need to put one small drainage tube in and that drainage tube comes in comes out the very next day stitches are removed usually at about a week most people with a brow lift it's probably about seven to ten days before they feel comfortable being back out in public again but it really can give us a, lot, a nice natural lift to the brow, help with the hooding, and sometimes we'll do this obviously in combination with a, an eyelid or blepharoplasty surgery. Let me kind of show you on this diagram a little bit more about how we do this procedure. So this is a diagram here of the forehead and scalp area. And these are kind of the little depictions of the five incisions, and I actually make mine a little bit more like a T in this direction because it just it works better with the camera. Um, but this is what allows us, you know, using the telescope and television camera to come all the way down to the frontal brow and forehead area. The other thing we all commonly work on is the, uh, the corrugator muscles that sit right here, which is where a lot of people have to get Botox injected usually with this brow lift procedure we're able to remove some of the corrugator muscle which helps with those wrinkles there at the top of the nose between the eyebrows but really we, we can free up this entire area here so that we then can lift it up and get a nice brow lift and then as i said we use the dissolvable soft tissue anchors which are actually sitting underneath the scalp and skin in that in that position sometimes we'll even some patients need a little more lift laterally and we'll use an anchor it's called a little ribbon anchor over here on the side but that's again using these small incisions we really can make some major changes to the brow we hope you found this little video informative for more information about endoscopic brow lifts endoscopic plastic surgery visit us at pvps.com thank you for your interest